Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, um, the other day I did a tutorial on uh, how to model a villa and this uh, villa had a swimming pool and uh, later on I uh, spent some more time on it and I made the pool a little bit more realistic. And how I did that is I applied the ocean shader, okay? So what I'm going to show you today really uh, in a really basic fashion is how to create a realistic water surface when you're modeling a pool or any other water surface for that matter, all right? Cool. So we're just going to simply take a polygon cube and we're going to drag that out and we're going to pull that up and we're going to call that our swimming pool, okay? We're going to right click at a face, take the top, delete it, and then we're going to right click object mode, select our pool and go to uh, edit mesh and extrude under face. And let's give this a thickness of 0 0.25. Okay. So that's our pool. All right, we'll give it a nice color, right click object mode. Let's uh, change our Lambert to white. There we go. And now we need to add a water surface. Okay, now there are a lot of ways to create water, but in this case, it's uh, mainly for a static scene. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a simple polygon plane and we are going to raise that up and we're going to fit this. Okay, so we're going to hit four for wireframe mode so we can see what's going on. We're just going to move that up into that corner. Right click vertex. Take these two, move that over to that corner. And take these two and move that down. All right. Now What's important is this top surface here is going to be a blim. So we're going to go to object mode. We're going to select the plane. So not the container, just the plane. Right click assign new material and we'll select a blim. And there we go. And then we're going to go into the attribute editor, hit control A to pull that up. And we're going to go to transparency setting and we're going to crank that way up. And you can see in your example up here, that as you move that to the right, it's becoming more and more transparent. Now, I wouldn't go 100%, but close to the end. And you can already see that you can now look through that surface. All right, cool. Next, we're just going to take the insides of our pool, right click face, and we're just gonna take these faces here, and you can UV this with a, a tile pattern or something like that, but for now, Right click, assign new material. We'll do a, um, let's see, let's do another blin. And let's change that color to, uh, there we go, baby blue. All right. Now, if I were to quickly set this up in a render, I'll just uh, quickly do that. We're going to go to mental ray. Uh, sorry, just have to load that up. Window settings preferences plugin manager. It seems that my mental ray isn't loaded for some reason. There he is. I will just give that one second so we can think about it. There we go. Okay, so render settings, mental ray, indirect lighting. We'll set up physical sun and sky and nothing else. Okay, maybe, yeah, okay, we'll just. Increase the quality a bit so it doesn't look too horrible, and we'll set our image size to HD 1080. Okay, so I'm just going to take my uh, sun here, window outliner, sun direction. There we go. Hit W, pull that up. Hit 7 on my keyboard so I can see what my light is doing. Okay, and I'm going to hit E and rotate that. Let's say something like that. Okay. So if I were to render this, and I'll just do that, I can assure you that this is not going to look like a pool. This is going to look like a, uh, a white cube with a light blue plane on top. Okay. Almost there. 
Okay, you get the idea. We don't have to have this uh, render all the way out. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to escape this. And we'll just get out of that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to select our plane. And that's our blend one material, right? We're going to go to window, uh, rendering editors, hypershade. All right. And here is our blend one. We're going to middle mouse click and drag, and we're going to release it in this space right here. Then we're going to look for our ocean shader. So just type in ocean, and here it is, and it's now created here. We're going to middle mouse click and drag and release on top of our blend. And we're going to go down and we're going to select transparency. And that's not connected. Okay. So if we move this out of the way and we middle mouse click and drag this material and release it on top of our blend here, there you go. So now you can see that this is starting to look a little bit like water. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And the cool thing is that you have a lot of attributes in your ocean shader. You know, you can uh, tweak all sorts of things. You can tweak the scale, right? When I pull that out, it looks like a vast ocean. When I bring that way back in, I mean, these waves are too big, right? So maybe something like that, all right? You can change the wave speed, right? And this is fairly interactive not all the slides but most of them right uh, let's see what else we got this is the uh, the frequency and this kind of makes it look interesting when you tweak that right uh, the weave the, the weave the wave direction speed you can change that wavelength that's kind of uh, important because as you can see if we bring this way way down this looks like uh, a water surface where there's a slight wind going on. But if we scale it up to here, this doesn't look proportionate to the area that contains the water. OK, so we'll do, let's say. Something like this, OK, now you can play around with all this stuff. Uh, you got some wave turbulence that you can play with. Right. And as you can see, it's it's changing. And this kind of takes out that regular pattern that we're seeing, and which is kind of good. OK. And well, you know, I just encourage you to uh, to play with that. Most important thing is if we now do another render and that's the whole deal here. Here we go. And I'll just hit pause so you guys don't have to wait. This is going to take a bit longer. All right, guys, so here's a render and uh, nothing fancy, no caustic setup or nothing, just a basic render. But already you can see that uh, the water looks much, much better. OK, so you can use this for swimming pools, for ponds or for any water surface, pretty much that you want to create. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you want to check out uh, upcoming tutorials, you can find me on my Facebook page, uh, MH Tutorials. And uh, that said, um, Thanks for watching. I'd love to see you guys again.